Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 16. iOS 16 is less than two months away from being released on its first beta and we just now have a report from a very trusted source when it comes to Apple related stuff. We have a report from Mark Gurman from Bluebird regarding iOS 16, all the features that we can expect and not expect to see on iOS 16. So this is really, really interesting. We're gonna take a look at this report and see what to expect. Before we get into that, make sure you smash the like button of this video. That's really helpful and will help this video go a long way. So make sure you do that, of course, if you enjoy the content of this video. So as I said, iOS 16 is less than two months away from being released on its first beta. If you haven't heard yet, iOS 16 will be released on its first beta on June 6th. Apple has announced WWDC 2022. It will start on June 6th. And of course the event will be a virtual event. It will start at 10 a.m. Pacific time as usual. And then probably around two hours after the event, you will be able to install the first beta of iOS 16 if you're a dev. If you're a public tester, then you will have to wait for probably three to four weeks before the Apple will release the first public beta of iOS 16, which I would expect to be somewhere around the end of the June, maybe 27th or 28th right there. And then of course, if you wanna wait for the general release, you will have to wait probably somewhere around the end of September. The last week of September should be the week that we see iOS 16 getting released to the public. Now let's talk about the Mark's Grumman report regarding iOS 16 and let's just start with the bad news. According to Mark Grumman, he is not expecting an end-to-end -end redesign of iOS interface. Even though we have now the same interface for like nine years now since iOS 7 has been released, there should not be a redesign, a total redesign of the interface on iOS 16 as well. I know this is something a lot of people have been expecting. I would have been, I have been expecting this myself because we're bored now. We have like the same interface for nine years and finally Apple should have done that and redesigned the interface of iOS with iOS 16. It looks like it won't happen. But of course, there are always good news as well. According to Mark Grumman, there will be major upgrades to iOS 16 and watchOS 9 as well. So major upgrades on the iOS side, he's expecting fairly significant enhancements across the board. What I would expect, of course, a lot of new features and changes, but also a lot of big enhancements on the current features of iOS. Talking about specific features, Grumman mentioned notifications. According to him, there will be a redesign on the notifications on iOS. And this right here is a concept by Angelo Libero of how the lock screen notifications can look like on iOS 16. They might not look anything like this, but this is a, like a great, great concept of how they would look like. It's actually pretty cool. Having the ability to switch between different notifications from different apps right there at the top would be really great. So we will have to wait and see for that. We know that it will happen and they will change. The notifications will be redesigned on iOS 16. We have heard this report. It was also expected to come with iOS 15, but it looks like a lot of the features that were expected to come on iOS 15 have been pushed back and are coming now with iOS 16. According to Mark, there will be also a lot of enhancements on the health tracking features of iOS and watchOS as well. So if you use the health app, you use your iPhone to track your health, expect to see a lot of enhancements with the release of iOS 16. That of course will be a very welcome change for a lot of people. And when talking about specific features, Mark also mentioned that there might be a new multitasking interface for iPad OS as well. So if you own an iPad with iPad OS 16, you can expect to see a totally new multitasking interface. That will be also a very, very welcome change. So this is the report by Mark Grumman. Of course, there are not a lot of specific features he talked about, just the health tracking features, of course, and notifications. But the good news is that we can expect major upgrades on iOS and also a lot of enhancements across the board on iOS. Even though we're probably not getting a total redesign of the iOS interface, we might get probably new icons with just a touch on the icons that have basically the same icons as we have on macOS. 
Apple does this, they tend to have basically the same things on all their devices. So you will probably have the same icons on your iPhone, your Mac and your iPad as well. So expect that to happen. Other features that I would expect Apple to release with iOS 16. These are just my expectations. This is not from the report. A new control center, Mark Grumman said that there will be major enhancements and major upgrades to iOS. I would expect a new redesigned control center. We have been waiting for this as well. This was a report for iOS 15. It looks like it has been pushed back and also a redesign of the lock screen that might happen as well. This was also something talked about on iOS 15 before it was released on its first beta and it looks like it has been pushed back for iOS 16 as well. So just look out for a redesign of the lock screen and the control center as well. Of course, hopefully alongside interactive widgets as well. And what I would expect Apple also to do is change the app library. There should be enhancements on app library. There are a lot of features that have been released on iOS 14 and iOS 15 didn't bring any change at all at those features. Just like the control set, basically the control center, the app library, also the widgets on the home screen. These are features that I believe will get a lot of enhancements on iOS 16. It should be like that. Hopefully that will happen. So this is the report by Mark Grumman regarding iOS 16. Again, bad news, no major interface redesign is expected, even though of course it's not confirmed, but the great news, major upgrades are coming to iOS. So that's really great. Another great thing on this report is that he says that there will be more news in the upcoming days. We have about two months until the release of the first beta of iOS 16. So we should expect to see more news, more reports regarding the new features and changes that are coming to iOS 16. So it should be quite an interesting update. Hopefully we will get some really great new features, but of course we will have to wait more for that and see what we can get and what we will get with iOS 16. So let me hear it from you guys. Let me know in the comments down below what features would you actually like to see on iOS 16? Would you like to see any specific new feature or an enhancement to our current feature that we have on iOS 15? And of course, let me know how mad are you about iOS 16 not getting redesigned as well? I know most iOS users are waiting for the iOS to be redesigned finally at some point, but it looks like even like nine years after iOS 7 has been released, there will be no major redesign as well. So hit the comments below and let me know what do you think about this report, iOS 16, and what do you expect, which feature would you like to see on this update? So that's basically for this video guys. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, make sure you do so by clicking the subscribe button just down below. And of course, leave a like on this video as it really, really helps out a lot. Again, thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.